In time, the city council voted to pass a coronavirus response plan tonight in a remote meeting that still had plenty of public feedback. Many Burlingtonians called in, urging state action on freezing rent payments. Local 22's Devin Bates listened in, and Devin is now live in the newsroom tonight with more details. Hi, Devin. Well, Lauren, today the city established a COVID-19 resource and recovery center, which was one of the measures included in that plan. But a week from now, 16% of Burlingtonians will have to make rent payments. And with many renters out of work, they urge further action on that front. The city of Burlington's coronavirus response plan has five key measures aimed at mitigating the economic impact of the pandemic. They include delaying or waiving certain fees and tax deadlines, taking steps to protect the city's financial health, appropriating $1 million in Burlington Telecom revenues toward the cost of addressing the crisis, and establishing a coronavirus resource and recovery center. Mayor Murrow Weinberger detailed how the center will function via conference call Monday afternoon. This is going to be, uh, we believe, the place where uh, essentially we get as much help as possible to as many Burlingtonians as possible as quickly as possible. What we are doing is setting up a center um, where Burlingtonians uh, can get help accessing resources from all levels of government. At Monday's city council meeting, Burlington renters called in asking the council to urge Governor Phil Scott to freeze rent payments in addition to the measures they voted on. If you don't cancel rent payments, the two options are tenants will go hungry or they will work and they will spread COVID and they will be the ones on the front line with no hazard pay, with no protection. The emergency order that is being discussed tonight doesn't come close to enough. The resolution originally called on Governor Scott to suspend evictions, but after a council debate, they're also asking for Scott to enact a rent freeze. Other amendments were introduced on suspending deportations and detentions throughout the pandemic and urging the governor to issue a shelter in place and a shutdown of all non-essential businesses. I think we've had the opportunity to learn from other countries and other states that the, every day you wait matters a lot on this. And let's not wait a few more days. I think we need to move immediately and take this step. Now, that action, of course, doesn't issue a shelter in place in Burlington. It just requests that Governor Scott do so for the state. Live in the newsroom tonight, Devin Bates, Local 22 News.